What's up, weirdos? I am the Funny 7-Eleven, and welcome to Estranged Act 2, or Early Access. Now, as you should probably know, back in, when was it, December of 2014, I believe, I recorded um, the entirety of Estranged Act 1. I really enjoyed it, even though the recording quality of the videos on my part was pretty darn bad. So, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited for this. And I actually, back in September of 2016, they released an EXE file for this to install it. So I did, I recorded two parts of it, completing it and all that. Next thing you know, it didn't pick up my voice, but it picked up a ton of background noise. So I just said, well, that's stupid, so I'm not going to upload that. So I might recognize a few bits, but then I realized that this was on Steam, and I was like, wait a minute, what? So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I guess we'll start with one. I tried configuring the settings before I started recording, so... It's a plus on my part. Here's the hole we fell down in, uh... I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot. Shh. Well, that's cool. Now, if you couldn't tell, this is on the Source Engine. No, no, it's not. It is not 100%, and you could probably tell that from the get-go. Uh, I was very disappointed to hear that they would be changing engines, but this was what, a change way back. Okay, then. That's freaky. Anyways, they announced uh, way back when that they were going to um, change engines. I was pretty disappointed in that, but from looking at this compared to the demo EXE file that I played way back, this looks really good, actually. The other one was pretty buggy and unstable, but I mean, that was kind of ex expected. It's all looking kind of familiar. The white flash of like stuff loading in. Some things do seem reminiscent of Source, though, which I'm surprised about. Is that a death trap right there, or what? Huh? Any news on this game that comes out, I'm like really excited about too, because I'm just a huge fan of this series. I hope it goes on forever. Hey, this part. Alright. Look at that water. Isn't it just grand? Alright. Hello? Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, this whole place looks a whole ton better than I remember it. Ooh. Pick this up that up. Ooh. Alright, let's wiggle this around and see what happens. <coughs> let's throw it. <coughs> Stop standing upright. Right, there. Hello? Do I need fuel? Alright, I'm scared. Anyway. Onward! We are pioneers in this landscape. Keep thinking it's Mouse One. I've been playing a lot of frictional games games recently. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. I couldn't tell if that was an elevator moving or a skeleton nearby. There we go. Works pretty well, if you ask me. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Elevator, for your help. Alright, this is pretty reminiscent of an area in Penumbra. It scares me, because that's what I've been playing a lot of lately. Because you guys care. 
<laughs> Alright. Uh. Um. Rock. Aha! I'm so smart. Hey! Alright, that's pretty cool. Flashlight is almost out of battery. I like how the HUD icons are the same. Ooh! This is the, uh, Liam Jones audio diary number one. Uh, we just started studying the algae. And, uh, we realized that it, it actually glows if you leave it alone for a little while. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, got a little sample here with me that I'm going to leave in my office for a bit to see what happens to it. <coughs> That's right. It was all about this, like, harmful algae or something. Or algae, as he pronounced it. What does that say? Liam Brothers Mining Company. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, that looks pretty, like, 1920s. Anyway. we. Okay. Look at that sign. Wait. It's on both sides. <laughs> Sorry, I just found that amusing. Anyway. There's a nice little cart here. That's good. Authorized personnel. Sounds like me. That was a Half-Life 2 door noise. Further making me wish it was still on the engine. <laughs> Ooh. This sucks as a physics engine. It would be great if it were a defying physics engine, but let's see how it. You, st you don't. Objects don't stand up when you pick them up. As far as I'm concerned, at least. Oh gosh. Anyway, what did I miss again? There was some car battery. That's what it was. There we go. Ah. Oh. That powers the flashlight. All right. Great. So that's a window. So, um, excuse me, sir. Okay. Eh. That didn't work out too well. Hey! Alright. This could work. Uh, we'll place that there. And of course, it'll stand upright, because that's physics. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep really bashing the engine. Uh, where? Where? Eh. Now, kiss. Alright. S Industries. Well, if that's not the tr most trustworthy name. Ah! Okay. Sorry, I got really scared there. Who are you telling me what light I can and can't use? Ooh. Because if you remember in the first Estranged... I climbed over the fence after what's-his-face gave me a gun, and I was like, alright, so this is actually a shooting thing? I'm going to have to shoot things? And next thing I know, there's this guy with glowing yellow eyes coming at me. Who said, hey, I believe, in like a very de demonic voice. Something to that effect, I don't exactly remember. But yeah, and then I sat there and said, okay, well this is, I don't want to play this anymore. Liam J's live sample security EN6. Yeah, second journal, I believe. This is the uh, Liam Jones uh, diary number two. Uh, the samples are doing okay. We're just observing them now to see what happens. Uh, the head office have, have sent for some some samples, so we're going to ship some over there too in some boxes. Um, also, Hawthorne, uh, when you get the chance. I lost my security badge. You idiot! Um, but it, when you when you talk to the, the badge people, just say um, like uh, I don't know, someone, someone no, no, someone didn't take it. No, that's a bad reason. Uh, a, a fox uh, snuck in and uh, and took my badge, <laughs> and um, and now I can't I can't get into the main facility. Um, so if, if you could, if you could just tell them that. Um, just, just try not. Because last time it happened, they, they, they said it was my fault, and uh, and they were a little bit reluctant about replacing it. So, um, 
just just do that Hawthorne. Just just let them know that I've I've, I've uh, misplaced it and uh, and I need another one. Or, or you could even say that I need a spare badge, just another one, because uh, I'm not sure. Where, well, you know, I'm I'm not sure where it went, but uh, just I, I need I need a I need another badge. <laughs> is basically, the bottom line. So. Um, if you if you could email the the badge people Hawthorne, and uh, and get me a new badge, that that'd be good. Okay. What a charmer he is. Anyway, oh, that's a logo I haven't seen in a long. T oh no. <gasps> is this one of these things? Can I use it? Or does it? I can dream. <laughs> anyway, newspaper. Ooh. First for news, gossip, sports, showbiz, business, and crosswords. It's your newspaper, your life. Our corporation completes acquisition of Philips Pharmaceuticals. The acquisition of little pharmaceutical company Philips Pharmaceuticals was completed late last week as of all 50... As all 50 employees were let go, 20 more workers than originally planned. The news came as our corporation announced its plans to expand to the region for unstated research purposes. The former owner and founder, Philip Beaumont, was forced out of the company after his very public breakdown, oh boy, in which he was arrested after running around the island nude. We were unable to contact Philip for comment. However, his ex-wife described the takeover as probably strategic. It now appears the new owners had no interest in Philips Pharmaceuticals and its employees. They were instead more interested in the facility and the land on which it was built. This just sounds like penumbra to me, just because I've been playing it a lot. Because of the turn gate and the... Literally. Ben Killamock, an ex-employee, was frustrated that his livelihood had been taken from him. Job opportunities on the island are few and far between, and for the majority of ex-employees, moving away from the island is the only option. I've been working at Fiddles for over ten years, and they just let me go. It's heartless. The current owner of the closed Liam Brothers mine site are also reportedly in talks with Arc Corporation. The mine is close to Phillips Pharmaceuticals facility and appears to be of strategic value to the corporation. We contacted Arc Corporation for comment, however they declined, stating that the corporation follows all local employment laws and has offered fair compensation to all redeployed employees. The newspaper has discovered that the compensation is covered by a non-disclosure agreement, so actual monetary figures provided to ex-employees are unknown. More on page 11. Ships dangerously close to collisions without lighthouse. Red algae numbers strong. Ships passing near the island are dangerous close to crashing with the collision of the Red Tin Lighthouse, according to fisherman John Alexanders. Wasn't that the guy? If anyone can hear this, my name is... Wasn't it John? I forget what his name was. The, the intro to the friggin' Act 1. The Wentworth Herald covered the saga exclusively last week as the lighthouse was set to be decommissioned amid suggestions that its cost outweighed its usefulness. The Department of Maritime Traffic Investigation declined to comment after stating in last week's issue that they were confident that this won't impact any passing traffic. Well, if they're dangerously close, that's, a, that's different than being... than it happening. There's a difference between dangerously close and a collision taking place. Red algae numbers strong. The colonies of algae situated on the island remain strong as recent surveys show a vast increase in the amount of so-called red algae. The island's very own unique species of algae continues to take over lakes and other natural bodies of water. That's scary. Local resident Rosie Hardman considers the algae a mess and would be happier if it were gone, saying it, the algae, is taking over and we need to get rid of it as soon as possible. I don't want all of the water on the island to be stagnant. What is it good for, anyway? That's a, that's a good question. Look at this shiny trash can. Eh. I can't do anything right. Alright. Email, I guess. More reading. Alright, I'm just gonna scroll through this skim, take out keywords, and you guys can read it if you want. Alright, so. Thank you for new badge. Haha. <laughs> what are the next steps? Or corporate. Please think before this message. There's probably no malware. And then a little. Really? Hugo Weber, hi Liam, we received to do the clearance of your role, please respond. Uh, hi, sorry my badge was taken by a fox, could you please outline it, because it's a very serious problem of fox. Do you literally mean the red furry animal? That seems very unlikely. Your claim is that a fox broke through our security at the base? Surely that means you are not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried down the back of the sofa? Alright. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Door. Hey! Oh, that's some nice music. Then you can't open this, right? Because you need the key card. Which I spent, like, ten years 
searching for originally, but now I've played it. Now I'm smart. I swear, if it's in the freaking porta potty, I'm going to be very mad. I don't see it mainly because my flashlight is going haywire, and it is almost out. Oh, is it in here, Mr. Keycard? Huh? Is that it? No, it's the radio. Keycard. Jeez, I didn't realize this would turn into Doom, where you're scouting about for keycards. What is that? Is that a little wrapped up maggot or a burrito? Oh, it's a water bottle. Okay, then. I got that way off. Uh. Um. Hmm. What we do is we take the moon, and we take the sun, take everything that seems like fun, Alright, well, my flashlight's out. Hey! Looks like we found the back of the sofa. Where? What? Oh. I'm worried about this, like, falling through the world. Is that... Is that really his... It, you know, knowing him already, I can tell that this was, like, his uh, spare one. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, what a creepy hallway. Look at that shining. It is a beautiful game, I must say. Left control. Crouch under. Thanks! There's someone in there? Didn't I, like, move this out? Something like... A lot of bad stuff was happening. Excuse me. But it was like I was lost in space. I was crawling through a vent and I couldn't see because my flashlight was out and it was terrible and it, it was bad and that's a padlock and I can't open that and that's a Half-Life 2 door noise. Don't ask me how I know this. Alright. Battery? Ooh! Ooh! Is there any extra ammo lurking about? Nope. The hand is a bit forward, but I think it looks pretty good. Nice model, I'll say that. Well, I don't see anything actually being fired. Does that mean two bullets left or two magazine or clips, I should say, because it's a pistol? <laughs> okay. Uh... So now that I have this, this would be the perfect, like, maybe change up a bit of the blockades around here. This would be a great area for an enemy to be, like, chasing you and stuff. Nice geometric area so you could, like, lose him and then find you again. And it's like, yeah, this was, I can't see. Again. Where did we come from? Where did we go? Where did we come from, Cotton Eye Joe? What? How I... What? How do I get up there? That's no fair. Yeah! I remember now I like took a chair and and I went and it worked and Is that really what happened? How am I going to do that again? I don't want to do that again. Oh! I'm smart. I wish. Anyway. Well this all of a sudden turned into Outlast. That's a chain. Is there like a ladder? Ooh. Right. I don't know, but I think there's a valve that looks suspicious. I don't like the sound of that! I don't respect that! This is new! Okay, that was new. I was just happily turning a valve when Satan himself came after me, but okay. Because because I was sitting there and I was like, alright, well, just keep turning. It's probably nothing. But wait, what if it is something? And then I got really scared, and then... 
Okay, how long does this... Okay. I can't see. Oh, there we go. That was pretty spooky. The only problem... And I know that this is early access, so... It's not like... I'm sure that this will be changed, but... Don't touch the glass. Don't tell me what to do! Oh, okay. That's how you feel. Hey! This is Liam Jones, the live sample security engineer on site. We've just admitted Dr. Frederick Krizala into the observation room. Uh, he became violent and attacked one of my members of staff, so we're going to keep him under observation and probably move him uh, off the islands as soon as we can. We're not sure what caused this. You're working with this stuff called red algae, and it was just dubbed that because of... Oh, super bat! Alright, I can get down with that. Can't open that. Alright. Anyway. I think that was Dr. What's-His-Face. And I think that was him who I killed. Now, was that just the jail for the island? It was just interconnected with the facility because it's an island? Or was that a containment site? I don't know. Did they realize what they were getting into? Hey! Ha! Huh, long time no see. Room. I... It's not just me hearing that, right? Alvin! Alright. Gonna use a long famed trick. <laughs> Open sesame! I've lost all hope. I even put extra emphasis into the sesame. How do you not open at that point? Oh, do I go this way? Wait, what is that? Aha! This is uh, Gareth Thomas speaking, and uh, we have analyzed the allergy samples and found that the glowing is caused by a naturally uh, occurring marine uh, plankton in the surrounding area. Uh, we don't anticipate that uh, our usage of the algae will be affected. Uh, at all by the plankton, and uh, we consider it completely harmless. Uh, we don't anticipate it uh, being a problem. All right. Well, he sounded like Riff Raff from Rock Rocky's Little Shop of Horrors. Anyway, um, okay. Did I get a gun in the demo? I can't remember. Paper A4. Wow, that's cool. Attention to detail. There's that devilish logo. Hey! No! Okay. <laughs> oh. That's a medicine cabinet. Or shelf, or whatever it is. Don't judge me, I can't speak. Is that Chinese takeout? Is that really Chinese? I was just... Wait. Eat well. Why you know? <laughs> Alright, well, my synopsis is... Zero. What happens if I go down the shaft? See, one with a boring mind could think of these as cups. Someone with an imaginative mind like me could think of these as hollowed out, chewed up, smoothed out corn cobs. Bet you didn't think of that. Alright, so that goes down there. 100%, yes it does. Oh, and that goes there. Okay, I remember that. The graphics kind of remind me of Mirror's Edge, which I must say looks great for the time as well. I bet that's that door that wouldn't open. Mr. Open Sesame! Denying my power. Yeah, I remember this. Did not look nearly this good, though. It was empty. Oh, thank goodness they've added stuff to it. The textures look so much more lively and everything. What? 
Is it Branch? Better be. I also remember it being Mr. Blue Sky outside. Not dreary, dull. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Photos. That's good. That's good. Ooh, nice. That's <laughs> a cake. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's get out of there. Clock. What time is it? 3.30. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Door. Oh my gosh. You need dynamic doors like in Half-Life 2. Yeah, this whole problem could have been avoided if you just used the Source Engine, but... No, I feel... I kid, I kid. <gasps> There's more stairs! I didn't say that. But okay. I guess we have no more... So if we miss, which we'll never know really because there's no display. That's what I was going on about before. See, I start these trails of thought and then I just lose them because I'm starting so many others. Anyway. So. Feel refreshed. Is that a threat? Anyway. Thank you all for coming. That's what I was going to say before. Ooh, corkboard. Um, how you can't exactly tell when you're shooting the enemy. It's like the original Afraid of Monsters, not the director's cut. How when you shoot things, there's no blood splatter, there's no nothing. You can't tell if you're hitting the enemy or not. That seems to be the case here, but I mean, it's early access, so... I'll let you off the hook this time. So I assume we go lower. Ooh, underground! Excuse me. Isn't this the parking garage in Dead Island where you got the giant... Fan. Excuse me. Ooh. Can I actually pick? Yeah, I can. Oh. Sounded kind of like a Half Life One noise. Just highly edited. Unlike my videos. You guys can't make jokes about me. I roast myself, alright? I'm the only person that has the authority to do that. I think that leads to the end of the thing. <coughs> this leads to gate. No? Oh. It's as if they wanted to open, but couldn't. Hmm. Alright, so now we go this way. I said right click was to aim. Can I H to holster? No, I can't. That is a very pleasing sound. I hope they do not change that. Inlander Rail, Inc. 432. Unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. <laughs> Unauthorized with an S. Get it? Because they're British. You know, I would actually love to do voice acting for this freaking thing. Because, I mean, no offense, but that was quite obviously the same guy just putting on a voice. Hey, wait a minute. Unauthorized, wait, what is it? Unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. Well, I mean, judging from fences, what are fences? Easy to climb. So, everyone is technically authorized. Don't I get hit by a train or something? I forget. Something happens here. I don't remember this. That's new. Mars? Ooh. Ooh! That's cool. I thought this was like where it ended. Ooh. Is there anything in there? Right. Well, they can add attention to detail and all that. Later. Bit repetitious. It looks like a pattern kind of. Wee! Ooh! Okay. Alright. Yeah, alright. Simple. Is this what they look like in British Land? Or are they like super slim? Shady? Anyway. Keep saying anyway. My estranged Act 2 video, but every time I say anyway, it gets faster. That's different! I don't respect your attitude! Ha <laughs> ha! See, now Fizz can't watch this video because I just said that. That's like, that's like Fizz spray. This was a great place to put an enemy, though. 
I don't know if I like the whole first person shooter thing. I feel like it should be more survival horror and oriented in which you should you should run from the enemies, but if you have ammo, you can shoot them. I feel like it should have that kind of AI and mindset and stuff where you have to sneak around enemies and like, I don't know, it's just because I've been playing Evil Within and Penumbra. I'm already in Requiem. Then I get to play Necrologue. Then I get to play Twilight of the Archaic. Ah! Oh! I didn't realize that this was a barrel of Jiffy Pop. Okay. <gasps> Imagine that having a barrel of popcorn. Oh, I want that. Is that something? Poppy? Oh! That was a Half-Life 2 sound, by the way. Anyway. I feel worried that they have that installed. Ooh. Pretty room. So how do I know I'm not infected with this stuff? With this red algae. If you're going to put on a scientist kind of voice like that, at least... At least do it faster. Don't do it so slow. That's just my personal opinion on it. I think you should be like, um, the scientists in Half-Life 1, or it, Kleiner, if you will. I think you should be more like that. Oh. I don't respect that. Oh. Whee! Okay. Ooh. I can't move up. Oh, okay. I have to use the W key to move up. I can't just press space. This is pretty. Anyway. Something I think they should do. It was something, and I lost my train of thought. Lots of vent. It seemed like they already had a lot of assets preloaded for the source engine. They just didn't get to it, and... Ooh! Who are they? Look at how shiny! I can barely see. Ooh! Ooh! And fell through. The grenade that never exploded. Anyway. Is this open? Nope. That open? Nope. That? Nope. I don't like this. All my hopes and dreams are being crushed. Is that El Paso? Get it? But I don't. I have three bullets left. I'm scared if they throw another enemy at me. I can't climb the step ladder. Ah! Okay. Uh, not to worry. I swear, if something's wrong with this, like my microphone isn't in that amount of time, my flashlight went out. Really? Okay. Oh, I can't see. Can you see the ladder? Good. There's a light there. That's good program. Come on. What? Stop! Dead! <laughs> okay, alright. Uh. <clears throat> I hate you so very much. Like, my hate just went from like. It's it's on tiers, alright? It goes from tier 0 to tier 5. It just went from like tier 4. Right up there to tier 5. Don't respect it. Don't respect it. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Butt Munch. No! This is stupid. Do I actually pick it up? No, I don't. It's so slidey, but it looks like a ladder, not a sli- <sighs> I swear. Please? Please? Okay, we made it up again. Flick her flashlight on and off like an idiot. Please. Don't stop. No, please. Oh. Stop. Oh, it actually did stop. Wow. Please. <laughs> Just give <me. laughs> Okay. Alright. Ah. Uh. Made it one step of the way. Um. I 
hate this game. I'm sorry, Queen. I just can't have a good time right now. I wish I had some battery. Is there a console? Can I, like, say, give item battery? Please. Can I jump? No, you really can't. I'm about to turn this into a two-parter. I hate you. How long have I been playing right now? 36 minutes. Yeah, yeah, two-parter. I'll get back to you when I've done this stupid thing.